Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this PDF. And honestly, I don't know if a PDF is gonna engrave or not. I've never done one, but he said it's the final artwork. I'm gonna get rid of all this outer garbage because he wants to put a boundary around this thing. So we're gonna select all this and I'm nudging it out of the way. As a matter of fact, let me put my nudge factor larger. Let me put it to 20 inches. And let's select all that and nudge it out of the way. Nudge this out of the way. You know, you know what I'm gonna do first to make it easier for Corel? This thing is 19.4 inches large. I'm gonna reduce the whole thing and make it easier for Corel. Not only to put a boundary around it, but um, so now we're only 5.2, so I'm gonna change my nudge factor to seven. I'm gonna get all that text, I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. Now I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna put a boundary around it. And this is gonna take some time because of the fact that it's so many facets of this drawing. And that was where he was having trouble, but it's really not a problem. It'll take just a second, hopefully. And then we are gonna and keep reminding why we use the nudge distance so we can put them back after we do this. So it's done. We're gonna nudge our boundary down. Now I can see one thing we did, it did not take in this street. So I'm gonna add that street and I'm gonna add this street. I'm actually gonna make a duplicate. I'm gonna move that street back. Control D and make a duplicate and move that back. So now we can go get the under effects, go get the contour tool and we're gonna Needed to group the group the object. We're gonna to contour to the outside 0.75 of an inch. And I have it on the round corner so it'll look good. Why did I make it so big? Let's go up to object, break contour apart, move that contour out of the way. Now we're gonna to contour to the inside 0.5. Now let's go to object, break contour apart, grab that new one and put it up here and see if it doesn't work. So there you have a contour and a red hairline to cut this out. Now I don't know if he was planning on, and we've still got our nudge factor set on the same. We'll put these back. We might have to move them a little bit. I don't know if he was wanting those in a contour themselves, but you can move stuff around and have it out of that contour or inside the contour. Like I would move this up a little bit. And there you have a cuttable product. Now, this is a PDF. So I don't know how it's gonna engrave. I'm almost anxious to take it out in the shop and try it. But now we're gonna group it all together, control G. And remember our 19.4 with this locked. We're gonna go 19.4. So now we have a drawing like he wanted, I hope. And you could make that contour less or more, depending on what you're doing. I don't totally understand what's going on here. I would, I don't know if he wants to incorporate this and if you were to incorporate this, it would be pretty easy um, to do. And if you need help with that, just let me know. Because the PDF is crystal clear, so I'm thinking it might engrave. I've never tried it. I might take it out in the shop this afternoon and give it a shot. Hope that helps a little bit. Thank you for watching.